YouTube! What's going on, everyone? And I'm excited today because the new Rainbow Six Season... Season? Season? Season finally got released. We have all the videos. We have about the new operator, about the new map. We're going to dive into it today. It's like about a six-minute video for the trailer and then like about a 23-minute video where they kind of do the panel and they go over everything. I know I'm a little bit late. I actually have a job and have to work. I'm unable to sit and wait for these cool things that happen so if you want to see me be able to get these things on time make sure you smash the like sub if you like rainbow six siege and let's dive right into it and this is ronnie ah this is ronnie all right chat let's dive right into all it. right cool i get everything like settled in man my camera is so whitewashed there we go all right so this is the rainbow six siege trailer all right so we're gonna pop this out we're going to, should I go full screen? Yeah, we're going to go full screen into it. And we're going to pause the music here. And here we go. By the way, this is my raw, <clears throat> this is a Rainbow Six Siege trailer. This is my raw reaction. Here we go. Oh, cool. He's got Mavs, uh, the MR. Operation nice. Deep Freeze is descending on Good Rainbow aim. Six Siege and introducing an operator whose gadget is designed to cool off attacker rushes so cool. and ice out attacker gadgets. His name is Tubarao, and I'll tell you all about his cryogenic Zoto canisters and his powerful loadout about uh, 45 seconds nice. from now. Operation Deep Freeze also delivers a new map, the Secret HQ. That, I'm going to stop right there. I'm super excited the fact that we are getting a new map. I know that people have not really cared for Emerald Plains or even for Night Haven Labs, so hopefully... Hopefully, this map actually brings the community together and we don't ban it all the time because we actually will like it. Maybe. ...view of the sinister Deimos, half hidden in a cave and appropriately named Lair. To help you learn this and other maps inside and out, nice. a new type of training it looks called small. Map Run looks really is small. inbound, as well as a versus AI mode to accelerate <gasps> your rank... Yo! A versus AI mode? Let's go! Okay, that's cool. Ranked readiness by pitting you against AI enemies that emulate... Ow! Let's go! Oh, that's actually really cool. Oh, cool. Real players. Heck yeah! You also want to keep an eye out for the frag grenade update and update your... Yeah, okay, I'm a little sad about that frag grenade update. So let's update. get into it. Time to dive in to Operation Deep Freeze. Nice! Speaking of diving, the new Operator is actually something of an undersea adventurer, hailing from the Azores archipelago cool. off the coast of oh, nice. Portugal. Tuberau is a defender with medium speed and I'm both roamer and anchor roles. Very cool. His MPX submachine gun offers nice. a snappy response to any attackers he engages, Love that he has a DMR. while his AR-15 DMR is modified That's to use 50 nice. caliber rounds. With nice. the P226 MK25 pistol as his sidearm and cool. a choice of nitro cell or proximity alarm, nice. Tuberau can adapt his play style to complement the many uses of his unique... That's interesting. It, it's it's almost as if he's like a Cade, but like an ice. It, it's it's the it's the it's the snow miser version of Cade. Zoto canister gadget. Nice. Let's start with the basics. The Zoto functions a bit like an impact grenade okay. in that Tuberau throws it, and when it cool. hits the surface, boom, it activates. Instead of destroying things, however, the Zoto super cools anything caught in its <laughs> radius. That's pretty cool. This means... Whoa! Was that a footstep? Was that a footstep? Caught in its radius. Oh! That's a footstep. Oh my gosh. All right, Ghost, I take back everything I ever said. Ghost is my mod. We had like, a huge argument about oh, if this operator is cool or not. And if this guy acts like a jackal and a cade, that's pretty cool. All right. This means slowing down the movement speed of operators and probably. disabling Ooh. or pausing gadgets. The iced out area lingers for a bit, continuing to affect anything inside it, but eventually dissipates and everything affected resumes normal operation. Interesting. Okay, so it does melt. See, that, that was my big worry, that it was going to not melt. So cool. All right, so that's interesting. So it's only a temporary fix. So you could... It, like on CTV on Clubhouse, you could throw one of his things to stop a thermite, and then you can 
throw your bandits down, maybe. And then you can, once it melts, it'll knock off the uh, charge. That's cool. It's an interesting, like, teamwork of, like, bandit, Cade, um, new operator tricking. That's cool. Attackers cool. can thaw things out more quickly by destroying the Zoto canister itself Obviously. with, say, Zofia's impact rounds, Twitch or Zero's gadget lasers, or some good old-fashioned frags or cool. bullets. The freezing area of effect created by the Zoto doesn't destroy gadgets or harm operators. Interesting. What it does is create a powerful window of opportunity for Tubarau and his team to destroy. The, the footsteps. It shows the footsteps. That's cool. And it looks like it slows you down a little bit. Team to destroy gadgets or harm operators. Slowing an operator hinders Oh, their cool. All right. So I was right. Oh, neat. Okay, so it slows. It's like Malusi. So it's Malusi Jackal, Cade combo. Their movement and reactivity. Interesting. This has obvious benefits in most engagements, but consider deploying a Zoto against an incoming Amaru to negate her speed advantage, <laughs> or against the shield operator to sandbag so we're while you outmaneuver. Maverick is a good counter here, okay. as he'll merely be slowed in his breach progress. But denying a breach and helping his team hold a wall is one of Tuberau's awesome. strengths. So you shouldn't be roaming. You should be on site. Speaking to everyone that roams. With operators that should be on site. All my randoms and all my ranked games. Take note. However, defenders need to be smart when playing off a Zoto Freeze, because gadgets they deploy in the frozen area will also be affected. Oh, okay. It's kind of like what they were trying to do with Smoke, or when they tried to make his gas affect himself, because um, it affects your other team. So, I mean, obviously, it's like Smoke, but, like, they wanted to make it to it or affects himself. So, it's kind of giving that effect. That's cool. All right, so you got to be careful where you put stuff. So, I guess if you did have those bandits... Up there, it would affect them. A bandit battery melts. would activate immediately upon thawing out, but a cool. Kaid Electra Claw likely won't have time to engage. Interesting. It unfreezes. At oh, the it like resets it. Okay, so you want a bandit trick with this new op? That 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 would I could see being the strat. Same time as the breaching gadget. So be sure to place it just outside the frozen area so it has time to arm before the freezing dissipates. Interesting. This applies to nitro cells as well, which is important to keep <laughs> no in mind to because at all. a Zoto canister thrown on a ceiling will freeze the floor above. Cool! And if an operator walks on a frozen floor, their footsteps will be visible. Oh, see, from oh, that's below. Bro oh, no. This makes a very that's so broken. Target, but a nitro cell won't work in the frozen area. Okay. So, All Tuberau right. and his fellow nitro cell slingers there will have go. to anticipate where their enemy. All right. I like that. I like that. It's cheeky and it forces you to shoot. So it's not as overpowered. All right. It's not as overpowered, but it's still pretty cool. I mean,. I don't know, man. It seems like Siege has a little bit of a foot fetish going on here. But, uh, yeah, all right. So we, we got a Jackal, but an easier way, a hard way to, um, an easier way to counter this operator. Rather when Jackal could just, like, ping you. You could see the footsteps, but you can't throw that C4, which is good. I like that. Um, And it's only temporary until it unfreezes. I thought you were going to, like, slip and slide, you know? But, uh... I guess not. Kind of like how Fortnite, like Fortnite, and the you hit that like ice trap, and your feet get the blocks of ice on them. That would, I'm obviously <laughs> would be kind of interesting. When I'll snow ski around the map, but okay, cool, cool, cool. Enemies will go and throw accordingly. Interesting. Nice. But don't sleep on his roaming capabilities. A well placed Zoto canister will disable a claymore and okay. allow Tuberau to apply pressure from the attacker's flank. All right. A Zoto can also put the chill on. Looks like he's got the 1.5 sight on the DMR. I'm wondering if we. I probably, probably won't get a 2.5 a 2 sight. But that'd be cool. I mean, 1.5. I think the 1.5 sight still has broke the game, but like. Interesting. It still feels like they're copy and pasting guns. I would love to see something new in terms of a new kind of gun. But uh, Mavs DMR on defense is interesting. I mean, now Aruni isn't the only one running a DMR. And he's got Valk's SMG, I believe, which is really decent, too.
on Nomad's air jab grenades. Tuberau's gadget is versatile, and its efficacy in a variety of situations allows him to be Oh, neat! It's like a mute! useful and impactful throughout the entire round. Cool. And did I mention his AR-15 DMR shoots yeah. high caliber bullets? Obviously. Talk about an impact. Tuberau will be unlockable at season launch through the cool. premium battle pass and available two weeks later for purchase with Renown or That's R6 really cool. credit. But Operation Deep Freeze is... Hopefully we won't get like a really low or really big crappy battle pass. Hopefully this next... This battle pass coming up is going to be awesome. Bringing a bunch of free updates for all players nice. as well, including the okay. new layer map. All right, this cool. is the secretive military installation where the like masked it. antagonist Deimos prepares his assaults against Team Ra You know, I'm not literally big on the lore. I've been watching another YouTuber or streamer. His name is Kudos, and he does, like, all lore videos on R6. And today at work, I was listening to a little bit of them and it was kind of interesting um I, but once again like to me i don't care about the lore of the game i just uh, i don't care the map how the map relates to the lore i just want to make sure the map plays well so hopefully this map plays well i could care less if it increases the dramaticity of the story <laughs> no I, we don't need the dramatized stuff let's make a good map that people will like but it's rainbow six everyone complains about everything so rainbow I mean, there's even a room on the top floor where you can see some of his previous plans. Very cool. Built into a massive cavern, Lair has numerous entry points on each floor, including okay. a top floor spawn point. So defenders will have to make the most of the prep phase like to Emerald prepare Plains for aggressive entry. Labs had a baby. There's more to come in Operation Deep Freeze, but one more thing you'll want to note as you prepare for launch is that you'll no longer be able to cook frag grenades. That bums me out. I think that was a kind of a unique part of Siege that brings the tactical. I mean, cooking grenades in games are fun. I think not everyone's good at it, but, you know, alone for the people to cry about. We want to recognize new players in the game. I think, like, new players could adapt and learn this, and it, it took me a little while to kind of get good at it. So I don't, I don't like that they're getting rid of it, but whatever. It's you can shorten the fuse timer a bit by bouncing them off of a surface, but you'll have to adapt your timing and positioning if you want to keep using them to deadly effect. As part of Right, you want to keep using them to deadly effect. It's like they're acknowledging that um, grenades now are kind of useless, which it's the whole reason why is they want to make it so that people stop picking operators based off of them having grenades. I think that you should give everyone grenades, and people are like, like, what? No, like, think about it. A lot of people play glass and they don't use his frags. They use the smoke. And it's better off using the grenades. I mean, I think, like, it gives the option to make the grenade deadly rather than making people run. Because um, the fuse time just feels like it's, like, a million years. But once again, I, of this that's, update, I'm just kind of changing the game Twice as many operators will now have access to frags. Okay, cool. So, Blackbeard. Cool. IQ. Lion, Osa. Oh, so we're not bringing Buck. Buck's not getting his grenades back. Cool. Okay. Uh, uh, take them away. We don't give them back.